Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marinal Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 24, verses 13 to 35. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place in these days? There he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those who went with us to the tomb and found things just as a woman had described, but him they did not see. And how he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As he approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went to stay with them, and it happened that, while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us, while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the eleven, and those with whom who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised, and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way, and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The road to Emmaus is a beautiful story of encountering the risen Christ through hospitality and the breaking of bread. As human beings, we are wired to be social, and it is through exercising this aspect of our nature that the presence of Jesus is realized within our midst. At times, fear and uncertainty might cloud our ability to notice Jesus, but transcending these doubts and lending a helping hand to another refocuses our vision to see that Jesus was present with us all along. Ultimately, the road to Emmaus is a story of hope and transformation. The disciples began their journey dejected and confused, but through their encounter with Jesus, they were filled with hope and their faith was restored. This story reminds us that no matter how lost or confused we may feel, God is always with us. And if we open our hearts to him, he can transform our lives and fill us with hope and joy. Thank you for listening to today's gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at marynollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing, 
to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.